look at this beautiful gift from shop 2. They are amazing, they are wonderful, they- Wait a minute. I have to buy this shit myself. Shop 2, you ain't giving me no freebies. So you get no praise in this bitch. What's going on people? It's your boy, Boss Tux in this bitch. You already know. You already know. Time to upgrade. I initially had the PlayStation Gold wireless headsets. Very cool, like the sound quality. Not bad at all, but the mic sucked balls and not in a good way. I was playing UFC, trying to beat the shit out of someone, trying to gloat, saying, hey, hey, hey. You got taxed, bitch. And you know what happened? They didn't even hear that shit. So I'm not impressed with the mic. Let's see if this bad boy holds up. We're gonna do an unboxing of this bitch. And then I'm gonna give you my review on this bitch. Let's just get on with it, huh? Okay guys, I've spent some time with this and here are my thoughts. Number one, over here in the UK, it's around 118 pounds, 120 pounds if you go to like online retailers, which is a lot better than the 189 we were expecting at pre-order, right? So that's a good thing. This shit's been delayed for a while. I believe it was supposed to come out in October, then it was November, then December. Now we finally have it in January. So that's a good thing. The sound quality is an obvious, a definite, a very noticeable improvement over the gold headphones. 100%, it's very noticeable. The mids and lows are much more pronounced than they were in the previous headset. A little more bass, which is always a good thing. It's crystal clear in this bitch. Let's not get it twisted. Now, are there competitors out there of the same kind of price that offer better sound quality? Sure, but right now we're talking about this. Now, there are two surround sounds available. You got enhanced 7.1 virtual surround sound and you got 3D audio. The virtual surround sound is great and definitely is an improvement over the normal setting. In your ear, you have more space, uh, a little more levels. Basically, surround sound in this bitch. But where this is worth every penny is the 3D audio. God damn, people. Here's the good and here's the bad. The good is that 3D audio is fucking amazing on this bitch. The bad, there is only one game that supports 3D audio and that is Uncharted 4. Now, if you have Uncharted 4, play multiplayer or what have you, you are gonna notice gunfire exactly where that bitch is gonna be. If they're a dude hiding behind you and shit, you're gonna hear shit behind you. You're gonna hear footprints and all sorts. Very sharp, very accurate, very detailed, very pronounced sound. You cannot go wrong with 3D audio. The only problem is, is you only got one game to truly experience this bitch on. But boy, is it worth it. Takes a few hours to charge, but it lasts a little longer than its predecessor. This lasts about 12 hours, I'd say. 10 to 12 hours, depending on obviously what you're doing. If you're going on that 3D audio and shit, then obviously there's going to be a difference in this bitch. Where this also shines is where also previous PS4 headsets shined. And that is the unique audio modes that certain games offer, like Last of Us. You go on the headset app on the PS4, and it gives you so much. Certain games come with their own sound. And you know, Naughty Dog are fantastic on their sound mix. Download that shit to this bitch, and you are good to go. Fantastic sound, when done right. Day-to-day -day listening to music, it's decent, and it's definitely an improvement over the previous one. But it's still not as good and as sharp and as detailed as some of the competition in the same kind of price range. That's not to take away from the fact that these are very, very good headphones. 
You're going to say brass tacks. All you've done is say positive things about this bitch. Let's get to the negative. The one thing I needed them to improve on was one of the main things I use this for, and that's for multiplayer. The mic on this is pretty much exactly the same as the mic on the previous headset. So if that is your main purpose of using this bitch, look somewhere else because it hasn't improved. I can't hear people clearer. They certainly can't hear me any clearer on multiplayer. If you were happy with the previous one, then go for it. But if you weren't, this is not much better. And even if it is, it's like one pubic hair better. Do you know what I'm saying? Let's talk design. I'll be honest with you, I prefer the design of the gold. I think they look better. This has got the metal frame at the top and everything, but it still feels like it can break. It feels weak as a motherfucker. And these ear cups, great, but there's not a lot of give in the sense that you put them on your ear, your ear is practically touching the inside of that bitch. I mean, it's okay. You wear it for a while, you're gonna start feeling it though, for real. I don't think these are the kind of headphones where you can have long stretches of gameplay. In terms of comfort, short control burst, this is good to go, just like your boy sex life. Wait a minute. Here's another thing that upset me. You use it with PSVR, you're gonna have to use the bundled cable that comes along with it. I don't know why you can't use it the normal way. You got to use the bundled cable in this bitch. I don't know why, but you do. And I think that's a bit silly. It's a wireless headset, but you need the wire for the VR. Same thing with your phone. You gotta attach the USB to the PS4, right? To get this shit all syncing up, to get this shit to work in the first place. So you know you can't use it as a headset for your mobile phone, let's say, without using a wire in this bitch. You know how it goes. Is it stupid? Yes. What can you do? Now, these are by far the best Sony PlayStation headphones you can get. Saying that there's only three to choose from, but these are very, very good headphones. Let down by one key feature, which is the microphone. And the 3D audio and surround sound both are very detailed sounding. 3D especially is A1, but there's only one game that really supports it right now. And the 7.1 surround sound is really good when you have games which are actually compatible with that. Everything's gonna be working together for you to truly get the best out of this. So guys, tell me what you thought. If my review helped you make up your mind about this, let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching, hit the like button, definitely subscribe, and I will catch you guys soon.